Hi! It's Tech Rabbit here again. So I'm going to continue the MMU2S build. And the, now it's the turn for electronics and uh, MMU2S unit assembly. And um, since this has 32 <laughs> steps in it, we're going to be splitting this a little bit into two parts. And, um, but anyway, and we'll do the same routine. We'll check out the. Um, Instructions first, and then we'll actually do the steps. Here, and as you see here, it says that it's difficult and 32 steps. Uh, okay, so we get the electronics, the housing for it, <laughs> the nuts and screws, put the nuts in place, put the electronics board in, and then we. Um, screw the electronics board in place and then we need to prepare some cables and this we need to pay attention so we actually select the correct cables from the package and identify which is power and um, what's the signal cable and what's the correct end of the signal cable to actually connect it into, um, into the control circuitry and here we're going to now connect in all the cables on the um, system, MMU unit, the motors, the PINDA sensor, the uh, power cable, the signal cable, etc. And then cable management. So then we're going to use the textile sheathing and some zip ties and a couple of screws and this is going to be probably better done by showing how to actually put the cables in place after we put the actual um, electronics um, in its correct location because this is a bit involved so you need to kind of bring the cables around and zip tie them. And um, then to put the sheathing on. And this was relatively complicated because you need to kind of pull it up to this area and then kind of twist it around and then put the um, zip tie in the correct place. And here's more of the same that we need to organize the cables in a like loop them and then connect them with the zip tie so we end up with this end result. And then we need to um, create, uh, put in the PTFE uh, tube holder and use the PTFE tubes. So we have the holder and then the screws and nuts for it. So we need to put the nuts in place we need to put the PTFE tubes in place. And then we need to actually screw the, the um, holder in place. And let's hope we get good access to those. I think that it's actually quite easy to access those screws. We'll see when we actually do it. And then there we need to put the frame holder uh, parts in place. Four screws, two brackets. And they need to be put on the back of the unit. Like that. And then the MME unit is finished. And for the part two, then we will continue on preparing the installation on the actual printer. So, uh, now moving on to the general overview of the parts. So here we have the actual electronics board. So it's it's actually two bags. One is for um, plastic parts, and one is for the hardware and, and the wires. And um, then the actual electronics was packaged into a separate bag. So we have the PTF, one of the PTF tubes here. Ah, uh -huh, they got separated. I <laughs> should have put them all here. I have all all of them. And then we have the zip ties, and then the, I think that's the signal cable, as far as I can tell. That's the power cable. And then we have now uh, assorted hardware. And then we have the actual PTFE tube holder. 
the casing for the electronics and then the, the actual holders for the unit. So, anyway, get started on that then. So, now we got the electronics board and the um, casing for it. And then we have three nuts and three screws. And step two, gathering the parts. Step three. So now we need to put the um, nuts. Now that will be in there, there, and there. So I will just get them pushed in there. Because I think I'm going to have to screw them in. With another screw. Oh, well, now I got the um, turn off the bling machine. And then, um, so got the nuts in place. Let me just turn that way around. Just double check. Not that one can really put it the wrong way because then the screws won't match. And we'll put Put it in place. No, wait, it needs to go into the holes. There. Yeah, so we kind of those push button things go through the hole. And then we need to screw it in place. And they really need it to be pre pre insert or pre screwed in those nuts because they really didn't go in that easily. And then don't tighten this like very aggressively because this is printed circuit boards. And this might damage it if you tighten it too much. Oh anyway. That's the electronics in there. So, what's next? And then it was just cable preparation. That basically means that we need to take the signal cable. And we need to identify Now the difference is that in the signal cable one of them doesn't have a, a um, safety clip and then the other side does. So that's the most important part. And um, this is Okay, this is one place where the printer model um, matters, but I have an MK3S, so, so then it's um, uh, this cable. Don't think I got any other. No, it might be that I did have the other cables. Okay, so that's that cable at least for this build, or for my build. And then we have the power cable. Two hooks, and then it has some clip with with a security clip on it. So that's that. And um, then it's just to start plugging in stuff. And, um, Orientate. Let's see what will be the best way to show it. Something like that, I suppose. So, what do we take first? Signal cable. Use side with safety latch. So, that's signal cable. And the one with the safety latch. Oh, the 
if the light was better. There, that side. And that will go. Okay, which way around does it go? It should go this way. Ah, somehow just ended up doing it a bit wrong. It's difficult to film black on black. It is just that way. But anyway, you can see the clips on the inside. I could just get a reflection or something. This wire is very springy. And then we have to use this. And that's also the end with the clip. And that will go into the next connector. So, clipped in there. Let's see um, what's going next. So then we need to have the Connector. Okay, there's one connector that's going to be free. So that doesn't get connected to anything. could just show it a bit better. Right. Like that. Okay, next one, pulley motor. critical as to exactly how it goes. I have to look, blow up the picture to see. No, it's actually all of them underneath it. So, okay. So underneath this. And then the next one. I should actually read out what it's for. Red is selector motor cable. So that's this one. And there. And then of course there's only one more motor. Also should end up underneath. Should be all the cables. Like that. There's one empty for now. Maybe it'll never get in. Okay. And then we move on to cable management. Okay, I just got some zip ties, two screws, and the um, sock thing. Textile sleeve, as they call it. And the first step is really isn't cable management. It is um, to put the electronics in the position it's supposed to be. So let's see if I can understand. So I would like that. Ah, oh, ok. 
Okay, so that has to come. Oh, sorry, I'm blocking. But they want this pin bus sensor cable to go around the body. And then this will sit on top there. Should have pre screwed these screws in. Uh, let's hope there is something there. something at least. screw these in. Okay, top those down. Okay, so that's like oh my camera stop it. Yeah. Sometimes the GoPro GoPro wants to turn itself off. I don't really know why. Okay. So that's that. And then now the tricky part is this cable management. So theoretically, ah, so springy. Huh? Mm, I'm going to try and understand how they want to do this. So that. This has to be moved to the furthest that it will go, and then it should like be connected here. see it black against black like that and then it's got enough space to like move and this cable was to have a so call out a day and then they want it to come around the corner Sensor cable is shorter than what would be thought in the picture. Oh, that might have changed the design a bit, I think. Um, well basically, we should group up all these and have them coming as close as possible to the corner. 
Hey! It's my dog who wants to give us a hand. He says he could do a better job with this than what I'm doing. Quite right, I think. Oops. Something like that. Um, and then the next one is going to be putting the, the sock on and how much? Ten centimeters of it. get 10 okay we're gonna put 10 centimeters of that on there and I know it's gonna take forever That's what that is ow my fingers that was not fun okay so what next we're supposed to do what okay we're supposed to like pull it up closer without it coming off ah Exactly that I didn't want to happen. There. Something like that, I suppose. Okay, and then what? So I can go down around all the cables then. It's a bit unclear. But they want it to come. Sideways. Like flowing sideways according to the pitch. And that should be a zip tie. And let's see if we can fix this. Stand from the picture at least. Okay. If I should take a full. No, sorry. Mini cam. for the sensor all the way around, made sure that the um, make sure that this is over here and then we pulled the cable around to the side and we made one connection with the motor cable there and then we came over to this side, bunched the cable the motor cable from the side there and going there and the pinda cable put a tip tie there came along here put this wrap around the wires going to the printer and then we grouped it up together and fastened it so that's how far we've come now let's see and then the next step okay. oh this was the one I really didn't understand I think they've actually, in in my kit, the Pinda cable, which is there, it's shorter than what they have in, have in the picture. So 
basically the on only concern to group up. would be basically this one is still a bit too long and every other cable seems to have been adapted and like modified or something so I can't get it exact ah, I should actually show the picture so if we blow up which one will be the best picture this one I suppose so the pinda cable I don't it's not so long and it doesn't even look like that so that that's this picture is out of date no it actually looks like that yeah. but it's not so long so the only one that is really of a problem is this cable here that we have to somehow loop around and then use the same concept I got it now. Okay, to work. So if I bring that around and then it's like there, we want to group it through there. example of cable management. That's what we'll have to do. It's at least according to the instructions pretty much. And then the last one. Well that's just the final picture it looks. Okay then it was to uh, I think they said somewhere in the instructions, but I missed it, but we need to put the, the rest of the um, sheathing on so that it actually comes to the end, so I'll actually do that right now before we move on. And I will cut off these also. I shouldn't be hanging around. So, anyway. Oh. Like that. <laughs> One more view. <laughs> so that's fixed. So next one, uh, PTFE tubes, cart preparations. I have to get them. I have to get all those. They are actually going to go underneath there. Really not. How oh, that's going to work? So they have to go in. In there. Hmm. Oh. Well the parts first. So now we have the uh, there was five of them. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Four screws, four nuts, and then the cover plate. And then we need to insert the nuts in here. four holes. Kind of suggest to like oh God, focus. To like screw it onto the end there and then just push it in. Wow <laughs> Yeah sure. I can do that. It just disappears in the hole. I think I'll opt to using 
a little bit longer screw. Okay, so it goes down in a angle. So you can't screw it anymore so straight. Because these holes are like at a angle. Okay. Duh. To investigate if it's actually in there or what happened. Okay, that wasn't that much fun. So, um, to get the nuts to stay at the bottom, at least in my print, I need to be able to, because I have to turn this up upright again, so I'm gonna have to jam them in there. So, what I'm doing is I'm taking a zip tie and then putting the nut down, inserting the zip tie, cutting it off, and I'm gonna put a piece of tape across here. And that's just to um, to jam the nut so that it doesn't fall out when I turn it the other way around. So anyway, now there are all the nuts are in place with the support of the zip tie bit and a piece of tape. So I'm, I'm reasonably confident they won't fall out now. So I was having problems. Maybe you won't have problems because maybe they'll get jammed in the bottom there, but I was having serious problems with them just dropping out as soon as I turned them around. Maybe ever how much I tried to put them in place. Okay. The hole for each nut is slightly narrowed at the other end, therefore the nut should have a snug fit. Yeah, sure universe. Okay. And, um, ah, picture and reality. So now they move the cable. Oh, this is going to be so hard to film. Let's see if we can. So now basically this cable is too low. So now they have it going up here. Okay. Like that. So let's have it going like that so now we can actually get access to the roller. I might actually take that off. Put it a little bit closer. Maybe like that. Okay, and then they said that we should be able to take one of these tubes and then we should Free end is pointing up. Oh, definitely not how they have it laid out in the picture. Okay. So we'll do it as they want to. Oh, this is yeah, PTFE tube is very slick. Okay, now I, I don't really know why they, they should curve up. 
It's not like that in the picture, and this is going to be installed on top of the unit. Uh, I don't really understand why we can't utilize the normal curvature. All pictures indicate that the PTFE, well not all of them, but the last one at least indicates going down. I mean the spool holders are going to be on the table, at least in the pictures I've seen. So this is going to come from the it like up and then in. I like that. So I'm gonna try and get them all in. That's, that's, I don't know, I mean how to keep them up. I mean they're gonna turn in the hole. Oh this is nuts. What's the technical reason? Take the first PTF2 inside, inside the unit 2 or 5 2 side. Bent in one direction. Make sure the free end is now pointing up. Why? It doesn't do that in the picture. It's just they want to make our lives miserable. What? Oh, I think I'm going to make an executive decision because this is just going to flop around in the air and there's going to be... Oh, you see, it even came out. So this is not good. I think it's actually more important to get them going in there straight. So I'm going to use the edge of the table. And put it in there. Okay, why doesn't it want to go in? Position it like this. So my custom box supported underneath there like that. And then we say, okay, they want it to go up. Okay, so let's follow their instructions then. They want it to go up and make it go up. trying to do this. Okay, so now at least one can do a positive. Pr ah, now one can feel it going in. Okay, and it's going up. So, so let's be happy with that then. Yes, that would definitely give a better positive grip. Ok, 
Okay, so that's number two. Just press that one in again. Oh, I won't go in anymore. I won't go in anymore. Third one. Yep, you can feel it. I just uh, stress, you can feel it going in. And I said like at least one millimeter. I would say two, three millimeters based on feeling. Measure it. But you can distinctively feel it like slotting in. So don't give up until you actually feel it going in. And of course it's a printed part, so some of the holes are a bit sloppier than others. And then the next one. I must say, this is pretty janky for set up this. Uh, and then the next thing one needs to do... ...is to make sure the high edge... ...is up, in our, in our case. There's a very good angle. Okay, well, yeah. uh, thick edge out. Not supposed to sit there. Okay, and then there's going to be lots of. Oh, wow! <laughs> okay, how are we going to get the screws in with all the wires? Got the picture. Ah, this is a bit nuts. Ah, I wouldn't like to lie it down because then these these pipes are getting nicely supported by the table now. Good. 
Oh wow, got it in there. Not nice, not nice, not nice. And screwing close to kills. Also. Why did they do it in this order? This is insane. But they did have put an extra comment that they would for the last that they put this last to protect these tubes. But I mean yeah, hello. What about the cables now? recommended that that the foreman did cable management. So I'm just gonna use the same awkward method to get the other two in. So let's get that done. So had to put the air conditioning on, it was getting a bit too hot in here. So sorry for the background noise. But anyway, now the objective is to um, tighten it down so there's no gap left. Well, one has to make sure that one doesn't um, uh, like crimp the, the pipes. So one has to like tighten one at a time. And at the same time, making sure one doesn't break the plastic parts. Push the pipes in as best I could. And made sure they're going up and away. So well, there was no gap there. One could see. Maybe I could move the camera now so I can. to lift it up again. So that there's no gap there. So it's success there at least. I wonder if somebody could invent a quiet air conditioning unit. Okay, so now we have the frame holder. I could actually need to get rid of this tape. We do not need the tape support. And we can get rid of these. What? <laughs> oh, don't tell me it's somehow managed to get underneath the nut. No, can't be true. Life. I wonder if it's possible to, to um, pull it out. Ah, got it. Hope it didn't pull the nut out. That would be boring. Oh, seems to be okay. No idea how that happened. But anyway, the trick worked. Throw all that away. And then it was to... Pull it down. Okay. Oops, now I have to start being careful with those. Okay, those. Put 
Oops, you know, exactly in the picture they have it exactly the other way around, of course, just to make things interesting. Oh! Always try and orientate things according to how the pictures are. So easier to understand what the, okay, so now it's the right way around. This one on there. These oh, standard screws. Double, double checking. Have it the right way around. And they're both symmetrical, so shouldn't be any difference there. And we hope that the nuts are in there. Otherwise, one has the thankless task of ripping the whole thing apart. But we did check. I want to go back to one of the previous videos. So that's the supports in place. And uh, okay, but that wasn't the end of the story. That's where we're going to um, call it a day for this video. Because then we're going to actually put it on the printer. That's the next step. So. Wow, that was a lot of work. Anyway, if you like this one, consider subscribing. Hit the bell icon if you want to be notified for new uh, episodes. There will be coming. So we've got a bit of work still left to do and um, inform others that are in the same process probably get some hints from this build how oh, I did it uh, enjoy building, it's an important thing to do and um, I'll catch you in the next one